What's going on, guys? It's Jen. We're back here on some more Starfield. We're more than halfway through the game at this point. I made the last episode a little bit longer, and some people are asking, dude, why aren't you making the videos longer and longer and longer? There's gonna be too many parts. You have to understand, that 26-minute long video was from a session that was over four hours long. But regardless, thank you guys so much for all the love and support on all the Starfield videos. It's real fun. I'm hoping that this is probably my last uh, session, and I can put out, you know, another video or two. And from that point, we're closing in on Mortal Kombat and other games. So if you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day, and I appreciate all the new subscribers that I've gotten recently recently since Starfield came out. And also leave a like on this video if you want some more Starfield. We're on high price to pay, which is like halfway through the story. So a lot of people have definitely wanted me to go and try to do a lot of side quests and stuff like that. I'll definitely do that myself, but for the sake of videos, I'll just, I'll finish the main quest. Oh yeah, this place got destroyed the last time we were here. Right. If you were a victim you of the recent attack, please remain calm. You see security has everything under control. But it doesn't look like anything's under control. What happens if I talk Wait. to him? You're on the wanted list. What? What? <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I don't give a shit how many people want to make fun of this game. These bugs and glitches and just timing is just impeccable. You will not see this shit in other games. I'm telling you. All right, so it's basically just a bunch of police at this point. Oh, okay. They want people to evacuate. I see. She realized I'm on the wanted list, apparently, and then she just died. Know. Why was that her last and final concern? <laughs> the characters in this game just don't react to your character. It's very odd. It's so odd. It's weird because in Skyrim and Oblivion and shit like that, like people will react to you pulling out your weapon, looking like you're menacing or threatening somebody. On this game, you can put a gun straight on someone's forehead, a security guard, point guns at them, shoot around them, and they won't even react. But then it makes for moments like that. Shit popped off, Sarah died, uh, Sarah, oh wow, damn, that's dark. Oh yeah, move to the basement. Didn't somebody say that there was like a really good thing down here? Apparently you can loot this suit, this suit right here. Door lock, but you can actually mannequin open. I could take boom, 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 and I just took it all off of the mannequin. You can literally loot it through the crack in the corner, and it's exponentially better than the other gear that you have physically. Yep, I'm putting that on. Even this helmet is better. Realistically, I mean, it's better than all of my things in terms of like all of its defenses and shit. Sarah Morgan outfit. That actually looks good. Maybe we'll wear it in her honor. All right, well, there's that quest done. Level 15. Now we do Unity Quest, whatever that is. Hey, no funny stuff with that boost pack. Yeah, see, they threaten you. Don't do anything with the boost pack, right? I can pull out a gun and she doesn't react. I can jump and fly right in front of her. She won't do shit. No reaction at all. I understand when I say this stuff, it's not like something that's ruining the game for me. It's honestly part of the fun. Keeper Aquilus. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. Okay, we don't oh. care, man. I'm gonna be honest, we don't care. A visitor? He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. He sent both of us to ask uh, more incessant questions. That's literally just a wall. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. That is the truth. No more, no less. Yeah, I don't really believe that, though. Does unity make sense? I have heard of no such thing. Oh, no? I genuinely believed in their abilities to be able to stop him up on the eye. I expected at least a few of them would be able to fight back. I did not think that they would lose because I never even got close to dying to that guy. I killed him three times over and they forced me to leave because they made him invulnerable for that part of the story. I would have ended the whole shit right there. All right, I'm back. I talked to the people. Seems like neither of them really fuck with you, to be honest. Was there something hidden in their stories? Like we thought? I honestly, I don't know. That's where you'll find the pilgrim's resting place. Okay, I'm going there. there. Scanner, start an outpost. No, no outpost for me. I'm not building anything. I'm not customizing my ship. I'm killing the hunter. I'm better. Ah, okay then. Yeah, they're not very strong. Honestly, this planet's like one big beach. It's kind of cool. Wait, did someone just land behind me? Who is that? This abandoned homestead is actually rather charming. I mean, yeah, I mean, the planet doesn't seem that bad besides these absolutely horrifying trap ball looking things. It's kind of like a, just a giant beach planet. Here's the crux of my troubles to accomplish anything. I need to work with other people. I need assistance. I need workers. I need hands. As we work together, they inevitably ask questions and I can never help talking. They want to understand how someone who believes in science can also believe in the divine. Or they have their own misunderstanding instilled by some borderline religious remnant. My weakness is my inability to let alone. I want them to understand, so I try, gently as I might, to nudge their minds along the right path. Myself as a formidable opponent, I should be expected as much, but vanity is, thankfully, not among my vices. Regardless, it turns out time spent in solitude is, in my case, time with a very sick man, or whatever it is I have become. I don't like this person. I attempted to withdraw, to go off alone, to commune with unity in my own way. 
They followed. Of course they followed. This guy sounds like he's going through it. Credulous simplicity of mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. My worst instincts, the evil spirit, draw me towards a form of contempt for them, but I remember... Okay, so I read these, like, backwards. But basically, he came there as, like, not really caring much for humans, then started caring for humans, wants them to actually learn about the whole thing, even though he feels like he shouldn't. Whatever. Anyway, interesting character, I guess. Here's the difference, though. When I stop thinking about the glories I could achieve for myself, the pleasure fades nearly immediately. When I stop thinking about staying and building something, the feeling endures. There is something more sustaining about it, more fulfilling. I don't know what this difference signifies, but I am grateful for the time I've taken to notice. This guy's like Obi-Wan Kenobi or some shit. I don't know what the correct answer is. I might never. Increasingly, though, I am comfortable with not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world in this time, the more I think it is precisely where I need to be. This time will be different. It won't be about me, so I won't have to run. I can actually build something with intent instead of scrambling to fix something that others create in my name. It could be something beneficial. I can be something beneficial. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world is no place for him. Let him die. Let me live to enlighten the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey, but to know everything, you must find its beginning. In Hyla 2, the island hides the scorpion. The scorpion sting hides the truth. All right, back to our ship. Now, the weird thing is some ship landed behind our ship when we got about almost halfway through this. So I'm curious. Yeah, I can see the tip of their wing right there still. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Nah, how is this even possible though? Oh, I see. This, this thing, I guess, keeps it... Nah, this is some alien shit. Wait, we haven't seen any aliens at all. Just like people that come from like deep space. Starborn Guardian. Wait, is that the hunter? Oh no, we're finishing this fight now. Where you at then, bitch? I'm gonna take your shit. How do you get inside? Inaccessible. Wait, what? I can't even enter this thing for some reason. Who are these people? Let me shoot at them. Ow! Why? Move! Wait, they all went invisible. Wait, there's multiple? Another one dead. Wait, so the hunter and the starborn are different? I didn't know he had friends. Are, are they friends? I don't even understand how this thing is working. I can't access the ship though, so. Blast all the way to this different planet. I see it. Okay, these guys are a little bit tougher. Yeah, this Beowulf or whatever this is, this thing just claps everything. Okay, uh, what is this? What am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, it worked. Right? Do I take it? What is this? Okay, I guess we solved it now. Now we go back to our ship? After I finish the main quest, I'm definitely gonna look at all this shit. And there's gotta be like new game plus and shit like that as well. Oh no. I do your job better than you. Constellation the emissary. You weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. Oh shit, here we go. I, I don't even know who that is. Your safety, as long as you come in peace. Uh, no. I would rather kill you and never even know. And who is the second Starborn that's guaranteeing my safety? Let's just say they're very dedicated to stopping me from getting the artifacts. So if you don't trust me, well, they're your next best bet. I have no reason to trust the Starborn. You're- I know you've already been regretting multiple decisions ever since- Exactly. I'm not letting that go. I have to for the quest. How do we even dock on this thing? Some alien shit. Oh, so this is what the inside of one of these ships looks like. Wait, is this what the inside of that other Starborn ship would have looked like too? Hello. Yo. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. That's right. Damn right it is. <laughs> I don't think your patient counselor act is working on them. No, it's just because you're here. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Okay, fair enough. Some are united in cause. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. I think you don't want to look yourself in the mirror and realize yes, that there are genuinely good, good people out there. You'd rather tell yourself that everyone is bad in some way to make you feel better about your decisions. It's all about how you feel. Killing you and taking your artifacts are both on my list. Good. Hold on to that determination. Because you're about to learn there's a higher prize at stake. Oh well. 
really come a long way since the welcome to constellation. No, 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 don't do that. See, some people like they cringe at like the whole multiverse thing because they feel like that can just allow writers to kind of get away with things. But the space travel and sci-fi and a lot of this kind of stuff does result in like multiversal talk. So it's not like it's not just some kind of cop out. I need to see the unity for and myself. That's the problem. What's the problem? All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the unity. Well, cool, then just hand them over. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Oh. Innocent people die. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That's enough for me I to kill you. Just because I kill you doesn't mean I side with them. I'll kill both of you. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. I mean, I appreciate you kissing As my ass I now, but I think that's your way of trying to manipulate me to your side. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Yeah, I guess so. But, like, you're still kind of hunkered down in this whole, like, existence the same way still, regardless of your position. Been to the Unity multiple times. I just want Unity answers. If I can, I'll kill them both. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. I disagree. These guys are seeing power and balance to things as like scales or some kind of seesaw. The truth is you can just shatter that entirely. You don't have to do anything with it. Really. And it's not really a whole both sides are wrong kind of situation. And the third way is the best way. It's that we know that regardless of which way you go on either side, it still results in problems that will still lead you back to the same problem the same crux over and over and over again infinitely which is why neither of them have been able to solve it this entire time the issue is by like not engaging at all with it it's still kind of picking a side but whose side is the better question i still don't want to help someone who murdered my friend don't you understand what we're talking about there's an infinite number of your friend out there in the multiverse yeah but not this friend yeah but you in particular killed my version so fuck you and this version of die pussy give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want mine or the hunters i mean that's bullshit i don't like either of you to be honest see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules no just remember one of us isn't trying to judge you I can't pull out my weapon? I can't pull out my gun in here. What, did they disable my malicious intent? See, this is just the problem with the game's design. In my choice, in my story, I smoke them both right here, take all of their artifacts, take the unity for myself, and just do nothing with it. Only protect it. It's a sheep of a different herd situation, man. You're like, oh, well, I did something bad and people are gonna judge me for that bad thing that I did, so I don't wanna be around those people. Like, they're the ones that are wrong for feeling the way that you go and do some fucked up shit. Get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness it ain't even about worthiness dude you killed my friend the unity will speak to you offer you the chance to become starborn oh okay i'll become one of you guys then i can kill you in this universe and the next i will eliminate all starborn you might think the emissary is on your side i don't but your persistence is what forced them to tell you the truth remember that Dude, this isn't a thing of, like, being deceived. Your way of truth, in, in a way, is still deceiving people. You called the Emissary a hypocrite. Why? They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gift. That's a completely separate issue. Those are not the same thing. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. Right, and that's but weird. But the Unity itself doesn't judge it doesn't but there are definitely people that don't deserve to have it whatever results in more death is almost always in every situation worse for people if you're so truthful tell the truth about what you want to do with the unity why would you kill for it because i guarantee you they both have the exact same answer and he's like well at least i'm not lying about it you're still a fucking freak i find the easiest pathway to it ah so we're not being truthful anymore huh all right anyway you found it didn't you the meaning of unity uh, not really it's like the center of a multiverse. We're building the way to it. Multiple universes? Uh, yeah. You can't possibly mean what I think you mean. 
Yeah. You've got a gateway to infinity. Yeah, basically. You need a ship with a grab jump range of 21 light years to reach your destination. It's influenced by your ship's gravitational drive. Oh no. I don't want to open the ship thing. I'm going to get mad. I already know it. So why can't I just buy one part? That's absurd. It's got a 22 light year jump. Yep. Previous home ship has been added to your fleet. How are you already in nice here? To see something you. on your mind. Oh, okay. Well. And is it hero work? Yeah, well, uh, this is a lot less lonely in here, I guess. Cool. All right, got the ship. That's not as hard as I thought it was. I was afraid I didn't have enough money and that it was going to become this whole thing where I got to do all these side missions and shit. I would have lost my mind. Oh, this whole ship has, is mostly just grab jump. Now we finally jumped to the correct one. Starborn Guardian just showed up. Yeah, well, I'm gone, buddy. Gonna have to find me in a different universe. Found this old earth pistol, too. I feel like I'm playing zombies. Pop. Um, I'm responding to your distress signal. Why we haven't sent a distress signal. It said there was an explosion in your high energy Ready. research lab. The high energy research lab. All right. I don't know what's going on here, but you should talk with the director. These guys are very, very safe. All right. No, I mean, I respect that. I like that. Ethan Hughes, chief of security. If you'll follow oh, me, that makes a lot more I'll sense. show you. I want to know what Psychopath designed the game in a way where your normal, like, running speed and walking speed are either slower yeah. or faster than how it's fast the NPCs walk. This is pure evil. What the fuck? What the Am I high? Easy, easy. What the hell was that? You tell me. One minute, you're following me, and then you're just gone. Minute later, you pop in out of nowhere, looking like you were in the middle of a fight. But I there's was. There's nothing here. I should have never let you inside. What is this? Some kind of stealth tick? Yeah, oh, that's what, what I was. Yeah, this guy's kicking me out. If I had stealth tech, I wouldn't be arguing with you in a hallway. Look, I don't know what's going on. Let's get you to the director. Maybe she can figure this out. What the fuck was that? That scared the shit. Out. Okay, so I'm like seeing in the other universes. Then that's what's going on. Yo, who is this? Oh. Thank Raphael, God. you picked up the distress signal, right? Uh, yeah, I got it. How did you get in here? I warped. They're experimenting on an artifact. An artifact? You mean the metallic god? Yeah, they didn't know what they had. They did not know what they had. Come in. Oh, Kaya Patel. Patel, research director. Now we're, I'm going to teleport back and forth between conversations you. between them. I don't know who you are or what you're doing. I don't know who the fuck you are either. I'm shifting to an alternate universe. Excuse me? Yes. That is. You do science, you understand. Raphael died in the accident. He. Yeah. Wait. Burned out? I'm here for the artifact, Fine. man. Fine. And I want this lockdown to end. Perhaps we can help each other. Okay. We can't get to the lab, but you might be able to. In this other universe, Raphael survived. He made it back from the lab. So clearly, his elevator works. Take it. And you might be able to shut down the experiment. This is. Fair crazy. enough. I met the director. We have to shut down the probe. What? How? Don't, dude. I don't. Just, just come I, on. Okay, okay. You're my ticket out of here. Yep, and you're my ticket well, to an artifact, to... buddy. Okay, gonna try to make my way back to the same spot again. Ah. What? Hey. Did you get lost in the hallway? Yeah. Yes. Uh, right. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Okay, so when it's destroyed on one side, this side is accessible, and I can go back and forth in between them. Like I can't open that one, so then I go in here, right? That door should then be... Oh, it's still blocked. All right, well, I'll just go fuck myself. Security system, override lockdown. I overrode the lockdown. What the fuck are you doing? This worthless piece of shit. This is definitely one of the cooler missions, but I'm ready for it to be over. Override this security thing. All right, now get to the lab. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Help me! Come back! Hey, this shotgun's not bad. It's just the reload obviously is not great. Oh, I'm gonna get this shotgun certification, no problem. Bop! Wait, I can't heal. I have no heals left. This game, take the artifact. Where is it? Oh, give me it. The most annoying artifact I've ever tried to collect in the entire game so far. Holy shit. Complete entangled. Thank goodness it's almost over. Holy shit, I just want it to be over. All right, now we gotta start jumping to all these other planets again. Oh shit, the gravity's kind of crazy on this one. All right. Uh, yeah, uh, I could fight you guys, but no. Oh, the artifact. And he always shows up. Some Starborn always shows up too. Stop. Let me touch this shit so I can get out of here. Artifact Omicron. Final glimpses. I need a moon base key in order to open. Oh, I have one. First test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to join us on the roof at 9 Eastern. Reminder to please sync all watches to Eastern Daylight Time. We'll be recording the event. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? 
We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Go to NASA, okay. Landing on NASA's launch tower. This is Earth in like 2300 something. Oh shit. They ain't looking too good. But what happens if I take my helmet off on Earth? Suit integrity. You must wear a space suit and helmet. Oh. I'm gonna pass out, what the? I thought we were good. I mean, I know I'm not acclimated at all, but shit. Power cell required. Okay. Plug it in. Turn this whole thing on, okay. How old is all this, like, the recordings we were listening to? How old is all this shit? We're going to discover something important here. I mean, he's not lying. I promise. It's that neither of them know. Yeah, okay, it is a couple hundred years old. Wait, what the f- Wait, we're losing gravity over here. It's like nothing. Oh shit, people are dead dead though. Why is the blood still here? Please be careful whenever running power through the prototype. Secure all objects. I was young when I first headed the retrieval team of the- Oh shit! I kept what really happened Can I hit it again? From Can I just keep turning it on and off? Oh my. Give me it. Oh my goodness. Boom! Oh! Alright, the shotgun does good damage. Just, uh, it's a shotgun, you know? Oh, what the fuck is that? I, I only have one more trauma pack now. Last trauma pack. I don't know. Please let me get out of here. It's the elevator. Oh, that was some of their ships. Okay. Well, here they are. Hey guys, uh, I can't Do keep you doing this. Now, why I asked you to come here. Sort of. The artifacts unlocked the secret of interstellar travel. Okay. At the cost of Earth. Oh. An easy trade, honestly. But these early drives shook the gravity field surrounding Earth. Eventually, the atmosphere started to slowly sputter away into space. That's why Earth is uninhabitable. Oh. The artifact gave the scientists a greater understanding of time and space but not the wisdom to see where that would lead. I see. The settled systems wouldn't exist without the artifacts, in other words. We lost our home, but we made home in a lot of other places. But at the same time, it's not like Earth wasn't special in some way, right? It's still sad to lose Earth. I also only agree with, like, leaving Earth if we needed to, even though we would never be able to, like, as one, just get up and decide, hey, guys, let's all leave. It's just that it ain't gonna happen like that. Assuming we, lost we our home. weren't going to lose it anyway. Yeah. War. Disease, famine. Right, but we sped it up much more quickly. You see the hypocrisy in what the emissary is saying, right? They don't want to rob people of their free will, but then they steal the artifacts for themselves. Because the people are harming themselves with it. In the wrong hands, the power of the artifacts can make anyone a tyrant. That's why we watch over them. The only thing you're watching out for is yourself. You're both wrong. It's time someone other than a starborn made a decision. I don't really believe in any of these choices. Fuck me, man. I still just want to kill him. But it's not like I feel like I need to take on the responsibility either. I just want to, like, just shut these guys up and, you know, we go from there. Fool. The emissary and I may have our differences, but you do not want to give us a common enemy. And what would that be? For once, he's right. Don't do this. We can collect the final pieces together. I'm tired of the both of you. I'll get to Unity on my own. The emissary just became my new best friend. Wait, what? You've made your choice. When you're ready, the hunter and I will be at the buried temple. Meaning, we'll kill you. But hey, at least we'll wait till you get there. Everyone deserves a shot at the final artifact. Yep, let me level up. I'll go back to town, and then come clap the fuck out of both of you. Then we'll go back to Jemison and then, uh, play some video games. You have the same problem even when you go and step into this whole Starborn thing. They think that they're above humanity and shit, but, like, at the same time, while they might be in terms of, like, a perspective, they still don't have the tools to actually solve their issues. Even with all that information. It says it's level 75 over here. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, sh Oh, okay. Yep. What do you mean, finally? I just saw you. Okay, finally, there's one. Did I beat him? Wait, did they ran? I still don't have anything on my person, though. I don't have heals. My weapons aren't good. I'm so fucked. I'm in a horrible, 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 horrible position. Does that hurt? Bitch! I wanted to use the shotgun this whole time, but you guys are just being annoying. Boom! Fuck! What? You just watched that second shell go through him, right? Lots and lots and lots of med packs. Med pack and heal gel. All right, grab pretty much everything I could. Bodies, things on the wall. All that. Boom! Imagine coming from some completely different universe and you still get dropped by just simple pump shoddy shells. I could get some extra strong shit, but I think I'm plenty strong to go and whoop their asses right now. Okay. 
Oh no, not this again. Oh, good. Okay, you. Wait. You're up. If something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. What? Why would anything go wrong? Shouldn't we? Would you shut up? Both of you do your Wait, job. they're having me do this again. So what happens if I grab the artifact in the other place in my mind? Uh. What the fuck? Dude, where are you going? Okay. Engineering terminal. Robot. Update friend and foe. Tech current user. Okay, now they're going off my thing. All right. This area is off limits. No one goes inside. All right, another thing. Okay, so I'm going to go back through all this stuff that I've already done. Well, Find a way out of the anomaly. What's mine is yours. Sorry I stole it from you. Now, how am I supposed to take a strange comment like that? I don't know. You, Whatever. You think you have a right to the infinite? You're nothing! Guards! Okay, then die. Then die. Then die. Okay, through the anomaly again. Alright, lift. Oh, this is the same lift that we were coming down on. <gasps> what the fuck? That was a jump scare. I didn't mean. This is the most horrifying thing I've ever. Wait, I died. Come on out to the blackest sea for your rook. Okay, I died in this universe here. Don't freak what out, but the... it's me. Krix's ghost. What kind of cruelty is this? This some starborn trick? Come to mock me before you twist the blade? I always wondered if I could take you in a one No, what the fuck? Wouldn't mind if you gave me a bit. I just lost a friend. Uh, well, okay, sure. Why is he always doing something that... Where did he go? Oh, he got hurt! He got downed from it! You good? Holy fuck, okay, yeah. Is it me? They are me! Go! Go! You go! Last shell. Go! He was just summoning like a shit ton of them. Oh, how much ammo I got left? Well, I got some ammo. Oh, lots of ammo left in that thing. Well, here we are. Ready to kill each other for the artifact. Yeah! Sorry, it's come to this. You knew it would. Stop this, both of you, all this fighting across the settled system. It has to end. It's not gonna work like that, though. Both obsessed with the artifacts. The universe is better off without you two. Neither of you are stopping me. Wait, I'm going for the ultimate persuasion. Do I want to persuade in order to dodge this fight? Fuck no, I'm killing him. It only has to end one way. Yeah, that's cool. What just happened? What? They want to fight in here. Wait, Barrett and all these guys are all dead over here. Did I fail to save everybody? Wait, Sarah's fighting! Alright, we take this. I, I just reloaded and it didn't give me ammo. Okay. I don't know what to do, man. There's just so much shit. I just popped everything in my inventory. All I have left is this shitty Equinox. No heals. Did I do anything? What is this shit? Oh my goodness, what the fuck? I'm encumbered now? What? Oh, please, please, please. I, I can't, I can't handle this. Oh wait, okay, I level up. Uh, ballistics, sure, but I don't have any actual- Okay, well, I got the clutch level up, so. Go through it, go through it, go through it, go through it. Stop duplicating me. Is the emissary dead? Die! Please die! You just keep summoning versions of me! I can tell that you just admire me! You both admire me so badly! The most formidable opponent you can think of is me! Die, pussy! You are terrible. You are terrible. Sit, dumb fu- You both got folded! Give me all that shit. Legendary laser rifle, Eternity's Gate. Alright, so we got all the artifacts, and then we got these two weapons. Legendary particle beam rifle, and a legendary laser rifle. Holy shit, what is this weapon? Okay, that looks ridiculous. Alright, what's the other one? This looks weird. Holy shit, okay. Give me the last thing, give me it. We're holding every single one of the artifacts in our possession as we grab this shit. What? 
Why would I spawn all the way out here? That was one of the most stressful things I've ever done. I was so stressed out the entire time. Add artifacts. Once you power up your grab drive, you'll jump to the unity. Remove armillary from your ship if you need to grab jump anywhere else. I don't even know if I'm in the same universe anymore, thinking about it. <laughs> this is just odd now. Okay, well, I, I guess the armillary will do its thing, yeah. Now what? Oh? Yeah, we're not talking to anybody here. It's just us and the center of it all. Now, I assume there's like three different endings then. So the one if you pick the emissary, the other one if you pick the hunter, and then there's this one where you kill them both. I thought I was looking at something else. Wait, am I look? Who am I? Wait, I'm me. And that's me. It's me. You made it. Oh, this I is weird. You the view. You're me. Occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points. Yeah, I get that. Did I make peace with it? Yeah, I think after I killed them, I did make peace. Yeah, I did make peace with it, actually. Okay, yeah, I figured. This is so odd. Stop looking at me like this. Can return to your universe if you wish. How do I do that? Wait, do I pick them or do I pick the, the thing? Oh, let me talk to these guys. By defeating both the hunter and the emissary, the path to the yep. unity in this universe is left for the people of the settled systems to discover on their own, uninterrupted by powerful star -born. Yeah, okay, I like the idea of that. Because they didn't have the answer either. Cool, all right. It's not that we have the answer. We just know no one has the answer. So everyone should stop pretending like they do. Whether they want to sit there and act like they know everything and who is worthy and who isn't versus the people that are calling everyone hypocrites and being like, well, look, I'm just telling you the truth. I'm a dickhead. You're still a dickhead. Complete one giant leap. Holy fuck. It all makes sense! Looks really cool, though. Now, that armillary is just located in such a small little spot in the middle of this grand vastness, this void, whatever it is. Are there multiple armillaries? Or is there an armillary inside of all of us? All right, I'll stop. Dude, that looks so cool. It looks so good. What's next for us? Made it to the end of Starfield. Holy shit, what a game. I know people are going to be asking for like, a, on a scale of 1 to 10, is this game worth it? I think if you like Bethesda games, you'll like this game. If you don't, probably not. But also the game is going to be on like Game Pass and all this other stuff. Uh, overall, as far as a score, 7.5, 8 out of 10. I probably won't go any higher than that. Uh, the game definitely has some shortcomings here and there, but overall, in a style of game that doesn't really interest me in terms of like sci-fi and the whole like RPG with guns kind of thing, I'm more of an RPG with magic and swords and stuff kind of guy. I'm not a big fan of Fallout, for example. This game does a lot of things right and like really cool, but a lot of it feels kind of shallow in a way. I don't know how to explain it. In a game about infinity, the game kind of feels a little shallow in some areas. Uh, now, obviously, this game could be... 10 times the game, you know, in the future, you know, two, three years down, you know, the line with some updates or uh, some added content or shit, even in just a couple months with mods and stuff like that. Oh, Starborn, this is what you have become. A being who has touched the infinite. Wait, I am a Starborn, that's crazy. And these cringe ass people, now I'm gonna act like I'm all enlightened and shit. Wait, we have one of these ships. Okay, that's awesome. Wait, is this how it starts over? You can go into this universe now, start the whole story over, but as... Yeah, see, they, they're gonna... Oh my... Wait, it's, so it's us, but we're Starborn us. So will they recognize me? Wait, this is really... this. Wait, this is actually a really cool angle, now that I'm thinking about it. This is actually really cool. Wow, we have the same ship, except this time we can actually enter this ship. I wasn't planning on becoming Starborn, to be honest with you. I wanted to eliminate the Starborn, personally. So I'm just gonna go see what happens once we go and meet up with everybody. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything starts over, but I, I wanna see... Just what happens, I guess. Do I see myself playing it after I'm done with this playthrough? Yeah, probably. I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. There's definitely some shortcomings on this game and things that'll definitely be confused or even frustrated about. Wait, this boost pack is insane. What the fuck? Starborn spacesuit Astra. Incoming energy damage, radiation resistance, chance to disarm nearby attacker, a balanced boost pack. I pretty much went through the entire story with a basic boost pack. All right, so I'm just gonna arrive at this place. Like, hey guys, Starborn here. Oh, she's alive again. This is a private... Wait, there's something familiar about you. Vasco, it's me. Identify. Scanning. Cross-referencing known employee records of our affiliated He's organizations. He's not going to be able to figure out who we are. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously 
Unknown. Wait, no way I he see. knew that. Vosco Wait, why couldn't we just scan the hunter and, and the emissary? Skip main quest. I'm not who you think. I'm Starborn. I know what the artifacts are. Or repeat the quest. I want to join Constellation and unravel this mystery with you. Wow. Wait, that's actually a really cool way to do New Game Plus. All right, so that's how it works. Uh, for me, I think I'll just skip the main quest. And this will be my playthrough where I just do all sorts of other shit that isn't the main You're quest line. So we can kind of leave them in the dark about this whole thing. Hmm. That's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. Yeah, basically. See, yeah. here's the problem. You end up dying in these timelines. Technically could save her, but I'm pretty sure Barrett dies then instead in her place. There are artifacts I pulled out of the bedrock myself, ones that granted visions. You could gather up the artifacts easily while I look for the other Starborn. I could be Starborn and kill all the other Starborn. If it made me be Starborn, then I could just... Ooh. Uh, is there something wrong? There is a lot going through my mind. I'm sorry you don't know shit yet, Sarah. I I'll don't know if you Starborn. should rush off to meet them. Some of those artifacts. Oh, I'm not gonna meet him. Am I right? I'm gonna kill him. A hunter killed one of you in my universe. He will not do the same here. And yeah. We are grateful for that, Starborn. Now, let's get those artifacts. Dude, I'm like future trunks now. This shit is actually sick. I was actually gonna move my score to like 7.5 when I started thinking about this stuff, but I actually really like the way that they set this up. So I just want to thank everybody so much for all the love and support on all these, you know, Starfield videos. It was really fun. The story is actually pretty cool, you know, when you unravel all this stuff. I didn't really get super deep into it and obsess over it and look into all of the, you know, notes and all the things that this game is hiding. I probably only scratched the surface of what the game truly has to offer, but I really do like the way that they set this whole thing up in terms of the new game plus and things like that. It just feels a lot more natural than the other way that they're usually done. Now, I'm not entirely sure of how different this playthrough will actually be in that sense as Starborn. I don't know the differences entirely. There have been some differences for now, but who knows what it'll be. It might just be the same thing as we go through the motions. Me personally, I'm just going to go and do a whole bunch of side stuff. So it will definitely be a different experience. Still going to stay hostile with the Starborn though. I just thank you guys so much for all the love and support on this series in general. Mortal Kombat is coming up soon. Also, Cyberpunk DLC is coming out soon. There are multiple things that are leading up all the way into COD Next, which lead into the beta, which lead into full game release and everything there's just so much to come thank you guys so much for all the love and support and uh yeah it's been jeff guys later